Good morning. Good evening. How are you? Fine. How is everything going? Sorry? How is everything? How is your life? Ah, good, good. Very yeah. good. <laughs> yes. How was your weekend? Did you have a great weekend? Yes, a very great weekend. <laughs> what did you do? I went to the beach. Oh, nice. How is the beach now? Is it full? Um, some places because I went to the Malecón del Puerto de la Libertad and it was full, very full. Yeah, okay. All right, I see. Welcome, people, everybody. I see Marlon, I see Jocelyn, Blanca, Sandra, Luis Molina, Samuel. I see Lou. Wow, Lou, you do have long hair. Yes, I wear it. So not uh, uh, uh hairstyle different 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 yes. hairstyle yes are you are you in your are you in your um room in this moment yes yes uh yesterday i counted them to my home again okay so you like anime i think <laughs> yes i love them do you wish you can go someday to Japan, Japan, right? I wish that. You, you, you've been to Japan already? Excuse? You, have you been to Japan? No. No, no, it's a witch, a dream. Oh. Yeah. One of my favorite movies, I don't know if you've seen it. Um. I don't know if you've seen that movie, Lost in Translation. I think in Spanish was Perdido in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really good movie. No, I don't see that. It shows a lot of the culture of Tokyo. Okay, I, I wrote to yeah. remember that. But, but you know, if I had money or if I had like a free ticket, to go anywhere, I would really go to Asia. Anywhere of Asia? Well, I, I would like Japan or China. And the reason is because everything, everything, everything is new. Oh, yes. but, yeah, because for example, if I go to Argentina, you know, okay, we speak Spanish, you know, the communication won't be so difficult. If I go to maybe even Brazil, you know, maybe the communication, you know, okay, we can understand. But, you know, if you go to Japan, I mean, imagine when you walk out of the hotel, everything is different. Like, wow, donde voy? Oh, wait, but I have it. Everything, the, the, the letters, the tradition, the, the yeah. religions. Mm -hmm. Even the faces are different. <laughs> so that would be very fascinating. Every minute is a new adventure. So it'd be cool. All right. Everybody have a good weekend. Yes, teacher. Good. Oh, there's Leah. Hi. Hello. How are you, Leah? More or less, I'm sick. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Leah, now when you're sick, what do you do? Do you go to a seguro? No, it's, I I have a medicine myself. <laughs> no, okay, but imagine imagine you have to go to a seguro. Do they do they see you in the seguro, or it's only emergencies? Only emergency. I don't like go to the hospital. Okay, no, Leah, but not you. 
I mean, in general, imagine you continue being very sick tonight. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow you go to El Seguro or, or maybe Marvin or, or, or Lou, they go to El Seguro. My question is, in El Seguro, they only accept COVID people or, or I, I don't know, what, what's El Seguro doing? Or they take you normally? I, I think it's normally. It's normal. Oh. Uh, my uh, I, I lost the, the, the word. Uh, Tia? My aunt? My aunt is a nurse. Yes. Uh, she says it's totally normal. normal. Yes. Normal. Mm -hmm. It's a part of COVID, and a part of the people is for a, a sick, a part of COVID. I think that the people with COVID uh, sent to El Salvador Hospital. Okay. I think. Okay. Okay, I understand. Rosales, too. Uh -huh. Rosales, too. They have a, a one part. Tienen un area. They have a area for the COVID people. Okay. Because one time I wanted to go to El Seguro because I was a little sick, but then I said, no, man, imagine mm -hmm. it's just an allergy and I will go to El Seguro and maybe catch COVID. No. Yes, this is a possibility. It's a, it's a risk, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, do you see my page? Yes. yes. All right. Remember the stress? What is the stress? We, we did that Friday. The stress tilde. word. Yeah, it would be tilde. similar to a tilde in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Although it really, tilde doesn't exist. So the closest would be stress. All right, let's, let's look at the video now. Stress and Rhythm, Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Oh, we did this Friday, remember? Hello, everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. So in this case, uh, like I told you, um, it would be stress where you want to emphasize. That would be it. So for example, tomorrow, remember to call me. I had a stress on remember, That's, that was my emphasis. Okay, do you understand? Hello? Hello? No, I understand. Okay, so um, the stress in a sentence is where you want to put the emphasis. Example. Sophia, Jos Jocelyn, Sophia, please don't forget to come tomorrow. Or please don't forget my money, <laughs> example. Where is my uh, stress in there? Please, please. Yes, so because I'm, I'm making an emphasis on please, please, please come and sing to me, no. Um, that's, that's how you do stress, okay? It's what you want to emphasize. 
don't call me at night. What did I emphasize? Mm, don't. Don't, yes. Okay, example, look, I'm going to give you my telephone number, but remember, don't call me at night because I don't answer. So when I, when I stress don't, I'm emphasizing. So please don't call me. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you tell uh, your kid, don't put your finger there. El toma corriente. Cuando dicen los niños, no le dicen, vení hijo, come here son, don't put your finger here. No, you don't say that. You say, hey, mira, don't put your finger here. Look, zzz. you emphasize, okay? Okay. Okay, so now it says, by the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial clauses of time and they are in their use. So let's see, let's see how this works. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a rep. Okay, look, remember I, I, hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. remember remember one time I explained to you what is a clause? What is a clause? It's a group of words. Good. A clause is a group of words. Yeah. In, in a sentence. Now, it's a clause, many words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, one hundred words. Now we have a time clause. For example, if you look at this video here, you see when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. All these words express time, no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So listen, one more time, Lou, what is a clause? A group of words. Very good. What is time? So here we're gonna do a time clause. So obviously it's a word that explains time. Y cualquier cosa after the time word is the clause. For example, after I wake up, I brush my teeth. What is the clause? After I wash, I wash my teeth. I brush my teeth. No, I brush my teeth would be the clause. After I wake up would be the time. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Sí, recuerden, recuerden lo que es un clause, de verdad, porque lo que ella dijo también en el video es muy cierto. Hay time clause, hay if clause, hay muchos clause. 
Y es fácil después porque oh, el clause es, depende de lo que estamos viendo. Estamos, hoy estamos viendo palabras de tiempo. Ok, time clause. Ok, so let's, let's look at the video again. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is a subject. Comes, the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? All right, we'll do this. Let me see. Leah. Hello. Hi, Leah. Hi. Can you finish my sentence, please? When I go to the beach. Okay. I understand a bit. <laughs> okay, uh, we're doing time classes, right? So, time okay. mm -hmm. so finish my sentence. When, that's the time, right? When I go to the beach. Okay. When I go to the beach, uh, she say, coma. Uh -huh. No, no. When, I go, when I go to the beach, I eat fish. When I go to the beach, I, I swim. When I go to the beach, I get allergies. You finish the sentence. When I go to the beach, okay. When I go to the beach, I find it with my uh, my children, uh, and I uh, fish, and I walk in, walk in the uh, in the sea in the arena. In the sand. Oh, sand. Uh, when I go to the beach. Uh, when I go to the so, beach. Eat, eat fish. Okay, when I go to the beach, I eat fish. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. When I go to the beach, I eat fish. Very good. So when I go to the beach, I eat fish. Play with my children, walk on the sand. Yes? Yes. All right. Jocelyn, Hi. when I watch Bambi, I I cry a lot. <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> but, yes. Hey, no, really, I did. I cried in Bambi. <laughs> if you never, if you didn't cry in Bambi, you have no heart. <laughs> because. <laughs> 
I never see. I never watch this movie. You, you've never seen Bambi, really? Never. For this reason. Oh, man, yeah. Mm -hmm. I cried in Haiti. Do you remember Haiti? Yes. Other movie for crying. <laughs> yeah, man. When she goes to, um, where, where is it that she goes? When she goes to live to that rich mansion in Birmingham. Yeah. You know? Yes. Where, where does she go, class? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Where did she go? Frankfurt. Frankfurt, yes. Yeah, you didn't cry when she goes to Frankfurt? Oh, or when she returns. Oh, my <laughs> God. That... Remember El Abuelito, Haiti? <laughs> Abuelito, Haiti, Haiti. Oh, my God. And then the music. <laughs> La -di -da -di -da. Uh -uh. You know, if you don't cry, I mean, you're a bad person. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, hair. Her. Yeah. You have no heart. Um, Luis Molina. When I pass by a pollo yes, campero. Uh, it has for me is it's necessary to buy a fried chicken. Because... Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that happen to you when I pass by a pollo campero? I get hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Hope you say a oh, lot of the same. I, I smell, smell. The smell is, is, is very scandalous, right? Yes. Is, uh, <laughs> Gabriela, hi. Hi. Finish my sentence, Gabriela. Okay. When, when I get angry with my son, I... Try to not um, punish him. Um, with his favorite food. Okay, good. I spank him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or pinch. If we are in public, I pinch him. In the house, I don't know. Give me, give me, ah, spank. No example. <clears throat> okay, so that's, that's, eso es, eso es, no es complicado. Se llama un, un clausula, o sea, clause. Recuerden eso porque siempre en toda gramática van a existir clauses. Y es un grupo de palabras. Obviamente, nunca van a volver a estudiar solo. ¿Vamos a ver a Klaus? No. Por ejemplo, ahorita están viendo Time Clause. Entonces, ah, van a saber que entonces el grupo de palabras van a estar eh, conectadas a algo de tiempo. Porque lo dice la palabra. A time Clause. Entonces, en este caso es lo que les dije. When I pass by a pollo campero, I get hungry. Cuando paso un pollo campero me da hambre. Cuando veo Haiti me pongo a llorar. Cuando veo las noticias me enojo. When I watch the news I get angry. <coughs> When I When I drink coffee I get happy. Very happy. Okay, let's do the knowledge check here. Teacher. Yes. What is whenever? Whenever. Whatever. Cuando sea. Oh. Okay. Cuando. Un, un ejemplo. Uh, Sofía, call me whenever. ¿Qué dije? Llámame cuando sea. 
Y oye esto. Uh, Sofía, call me wherever. Llámame donde quieras. Donde sea. Ah, donde sea. <laughs> ok. Yeah. Yeah, wherever. Okay. ¿Se acuerda la canción de Shakira? Contigo, sin ti, quiero vivir la vida. ¿No? ¿Cómo es que se llama? Mm, I don't know. Gabriela, do you know? You look like you yeah. like Shakira. Yes. Um, many years ago, yes, but now for me it's... But do you remember that song? Contigo, sin ti, quiero vivir la vida. Eh, bueno, pero la versión en inglés así se llama, whenever, wherever. Uh -huh. yeah, era cuando Shakira was nice. Yes. It's true that when, when she was good, when she was good, because Shakira now was it's, good. it's bad for me. It's bad. Yeah, remember her first album was good. Yes, Antología. Yeah, Piezas Casos too. I remember that. It was good. Yes. But now, but she has money. Hmm. Okay, so uh, number one, it says before a man and a woman get married, they usually. Uh, let me see. There are six examples, and how many people in the class today? Let me see. We are wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, Gabriela, you're the number one, and you will choose number two. Okay, okay, um... so. So listen, um, let me go to number one again. So before a man and a woman get married, they usually? Mm, pay for the wedding and reception, go on a short trip, go to the honeymoon. I don't know. It could be being to plan the wedding or date each other for about a year. Okay, yeah, I would say date each other about a year. Yeah, so before a man and a woman get married, they usually date Maybe. each other about a year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Gabriela, choose the next person, please. Um, Sandra Corina. Okay. Number two, when a couple get engaged, then, excuse me, it's a, Uh, give the Roman diamond to him. Okay, I can't understand you. I can't hear. Sandra, I can't hear you. Yeah. Oh. When a couple get engaged, the man also give the answer is give the woman a diamond, diamond ring. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when a couple gets engaged, the man often gives a diamond ring. Thank you. Good, Sandra. Can you choose somebody, please? Yeah. Yeah. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, can you do number three, please? Uh, 
Okay. Um, right after a couple gets engaged, they usually pay for the wedding and reception, go on a short trip called a honeymoon, give the bride and groom a gift. Ah, bride and groom a gift or some money. Gives a woman a diamond ring. Begin to plan the wedding. Date each other for about a year. Uh, the last one. Date each other for about a year. But the thing is, they are engaged already. So they passed, they stopped dating. Now they're oh, engaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's true. So... Mm, they are engaged. Um, <laughs> um, but begin to plan the wedding is not in the first one. No, right? No. no. Yeah, it's, so it's begin to plan the wedding. Let me tell you, uh, Jocelyn, if you ever get married, this is the most <laughs> difficult part when you plan the wedding. Mm -hmm. It's very, very difficult because your list, you know, you tell your wife, hey, you make your list, I make my list, right? You know, and I say, okay, Weicho. <laughs> Man, but if I invite Weicho, I have to invite his wife the mother and the father because they're my friends. So just to invite one person, you have to invite four. Yes. Y la suegra que vea con ellos, five. Well, so then, you know, and then when you finish, you tell your wife, hey, can I have your list? And she has 200 people and I have 100 people. And you say, man, oh, we could only have, so it's very difficult because then you have to start cutting. <laughs> And then you start to the second fase numero dos. Este no es gran chero, chero mío. So, no, mejor no. Then, then, no. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the difficult part. Okay, choose the next person, please. Um, okay. Um, um, Marlon Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marlon. Uh, this is a question. Number, I'm sorry, number four. When number a woman four. gets married, her family usually? When a woman gets married, her family Go on, go on a short trip, call it and honeymoon. Ah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pays for the wedding and recession. Quiero ver. Veamos, veamos. La familia usualmente. Actually, yeah, that is correct. In my case, no fue así, pero tradition. Really? Es que con ajá no entiendo cómo se ve la tradición. Now that uh, don't happen. Yeah, the, before that was the tradition <laughs> that yeah. the family of the of the bride pays for the wedding. Now, <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay, okay, teacher. Includes a diamond ring, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you choose the next person, please? Oh, uh, Luis Molina. Number five. Number five, when uh, when people are invited to a wedding, they almost always um, 
chick give the bride and groom a gift or some money? Number five. Yes. Give the bride and groom a gift. That's true. Con esto se paga la boda, people. Remember, por eso inviten a los que tienen bola. <clears throat> okay, number, uh, can you put the next one, Mr. Molina, please? <clears throat> Didn't check. <clears throat> hey, Gabriela Martinez. Okay, right after a couple get married, they usually um, go on a short trip, call it a honeymoon. Good. Let's submit. Cool, we got them. Okay, good. So next, it says, in this class, you will practice your reading skills for better understanding when scanning for specific information and understanding reference words. En esta clase, practicarán sus habilidades de lectura para entender mejor cuando se busca información específica y entender palabras de referencia. So, let's do the reading here. Samuel. Hi. Hello, Samuel. Can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay, let me see. January 17 is St. Anthony Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing, bringing them to church, right? Yes. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Or right bombs. Yeah, we don't have that here, right? Nice first time for me. San Anthony days. And it's strange because it is a Catholic because it's a saint. It's for protection for the animals. Yes, it's my it's first time that I read something like that. It's true. All right, can you choose the next person, please? Let me see. Blanca. Hi, teacher. Can you read paragraph two, please? Uh, on Agos, 15 of the da. Lunar calendar. Korean celebrates celebra celebra Shusok also now as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean family honor their ancestor be going to by going. By going uh, to their graves to take thin rice and fruit and clean the grave seats. Grave sites. Grave sites. Good. So this is similar to November 2 here, correct? Yes. Or November 2 in Mexico. In Mexico, you go to the, you visit your death, 
the people you love who are oh. dead. You take them tequila, you take them food, you take them their favorite food in that time. Okay. So it's interesting. Thank you, Blanca. Can you choose somebody else, please? Um, number three. Mm -hmm. uh, no, continue? somebody. Escoja, escoja, ah, I, excuse me. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's uh, Sandra Corina, uh, please. Okay. <coughs> She's Sandra Corina. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. Um, long ago, long ago, in India. Our price of needed to help extend her seal, bracelet to in a build our school. He did not have really in time to help her. He kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Rakti, men's for men's to build royal today woman in exchange the grooming guild the bracelet of seal come to or golden trail of course thread wow thread thread all gold thread okay i will read number 4 listen to this and it's very okay ridiculous because it's not only in Argentina, it's, it's in the world. It says, number four, one of the biggest celebration in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31, families, <clears throat> hello? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi, sorry. Okay, it says, um, on the biggest celebration in Argentina, one of the biggest celebration in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and family meet for parties, which lasts until the next morning. That's similar in El Salvador, no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. everywhere. And I'll read the, the last one. It says, on the evening of February 3, people in Japan celebrate end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is known as Setsubun. Family members throw dried beans around their homes, shouting, good luck in, evil spirits out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. Wow. Can you imagine that in El Salvador? Vaya, shoo, shoo, shoo. For Espiritus, shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> yeah, that would be the Salvadorian version. So these are traditions in around the world. Do you know of any traditions yourself? Mm. Or do you have a tradition in your family? In, in December, in Navidad. How is it Navidad? Christmas. Christmas, well, uh, we always, uh, Ramon and the family, unite the family, and take our hands, and no sé cómo se dice rezar. Pray. Pray in... In, in our five minutes, maybe. it's uh, Christmas and the end of the year. Always, always, we, tenemos que hacerlo. We do it. 
Okay. So you hold hands and you pray. Yes, our uh, entire family. We are 13. Uh, with the three families come for my family enter. Okay. It's a lot of people. Yes. And everybody has to give thanks. Yes. Um, take a uh, 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 heel and uh, kisses. Okay. In my family, my mother-in-law, mi suegra, she is very traditional. Um, she celebrates, I don't know, the death of like uh, my, like her grandmother. You know, her grandmother died maybe 50 years ago. Mm. And every year she celebrates with tamales. And you know, like what? Who died now? No, no, nobody died, but 50 years ago, my abuela died. 100 years ago, her mother died. So like every week we have tamales for something. Mm. That's good, I like tamales. The only thing is I don't like to go to church. <laughs> what about you, uh, Beatrice? Do you have um, traditions in your home? Hi. Uh, sorry, I don't listen to the question. No, do you have traditions in your family? Um, yeah. Uh, Can you think of one tradition like you have Christmas in your family? Or... Okay, what are you doing Christmas? Like Christmas or New Year? I don't know. You tell me. I, I don't know the traditions in your family. What are they? Uh, yes. And for example, in New Year, mm -hmm. uh, we pick, no sé cómo se dice, reventar. Una piñata. Quemar. Oh, we have a piñata. Sí, <laughs> Uh, just uh, at 12 I'm sorry? Es que no sé cómo se dice reventar piñata. No, tenemos una piñata. Tenemos una piñata. So you say, we have a piñata. We have a piñata at 12 o'clock at midnight. Really? That's cool. Exactly at 12. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> it's very funny. And, and everybody hits the piñata. And what is yeah. inside? Candies uh, or money? Money. Uh, the two things. The two really? things and the money is the, is the, is the most funny part because the people only find the, the no, no sé cómo de buscar. They look for? Uh, they look for only for the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Invite me. <laughs> yeah. How much money yeah. are we talking about? Um, like, Is that, are there coins or bills? Coins, but about ten dollars in Quarters. <laughs> okay, cool. It's funny. Have you noticed that the tradition in parties is like in piñatas? You see all the grandmothers getting all the candies. Mm. Uh, and and the tradition, know. like in piñata parties, is after the cake, everybody leaves. Uh huh. Y, y, and they always say, uh, mire, me, me da un plato para llevarle a Juan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, always. <laughs> you know, when you pass the sandwiches, do you want another sandwich? Si me regala. No, do you want <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yes, okay, here. 
and then you see them que lo van metiendo en la cartera. Es a plastic. Yeah, in a plastic bag. Like you know, that, that is a tradition in our country. Plastic mm -hmm. bag. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do, I lost the page where we're doing. Hold on, please. Y el Iota va a llegar aquí cuando? Do you know? Today at night. Today. Man, have you seen Nicaragua in this moment? On Nicaragua and Honduras too. God, man. Let me see. It was in, in Colombia too. Yeah, in Colombia there's been uh, fatalities. Yeah, it was uh, difficult, that situation. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's finish the bottom part. So it says, What is uh, part one? What does it mean? Look, them. Part one, line two. Let's see part one, line two. It says... Animal. It's animal. animals, right? Yeah. Let this open. People ask for protection for their animals by, by bringing them, them to... So charity. number one is talking about... Ooh, animals. Them también es el plural de it. Number two, it part two line two. Let's see, part two line two. Let me see, part one part two. Also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give. So yes, it's Shusok. Number three, there, part two, line four. Korean family. Today, oh wait, I'm sorry, it was four. One, two, three, four, continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and families meet for party, am I right? Part two, line four. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Part two, line four. One, two, three, four. Going to their graves to take them rice and fruit. So their graves would be Korean families, ancestors, or people? Korean families. Huh? No. Ancestors. Their ancestors. No. Korean families. Okay. Yes, it's true. But this have about the graves? No. Yes, it's true. It's about going to their graves. Let's see. Uh, part two, line four. Let's, let's start here in part three. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves. Yes, ancestors. Number four, them means part three, line five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. To be a loyal to their women in exchange, the women give them. Women. Women. Number five, this, part four, line four. You are a... Continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends, so what is it? New Year. Yeah. New Year's Eve, number six, them, part five, line five. Beans. The beans. 
one bean to eat during the year. <laughs> oh. Yeah, imagine if you're like 60 years old, you have to eat 60 beans. That's a lot of beans. Mm. All right, let's do this one real quick. It says, instructions, read the sentences and choose the correct part of the two-part verb missing. Please clean bedroom, it's really a mess. So please clean, yeah, clean it's up. the sort of phrasal verbs. Clean Remember up. week one? Mm -hmm. Clean up. Could you please put the, gro could you please put blank the groceries in the kitchen? Away. Put away. Put away. Good. Can you turn blank the TV while I'm on the phone? Down. 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 Part two instructions. Read the sentence and choose between infinitives or a gerund. Microwave ovens are used uh, food very fast. To cooking? To cook. To cook. Okay. When you go to the beach, try the camcorder what? Camcorder is the camera. Pero de la de cassette. So when you go to the beach, try not to get the camcorder. Okay, Luis, continue with the class. <laughs> <laughs> Democratic. Yes. Hey, what happened, yes. teacher? <laughs> no, listen. We can listen to you. I, I hear you. Can you hear me? No. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so suddenly I was class. Hello, hello. Don't forget pay the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Don't forget to pay the internet. <laughs> With this. No, I paid the internet one Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, I think. Medio cholera, man. <laughs> because I was in Claro, and, but it was my fault. I see the big line. Wow, que cola más larga. And like 45 minutes to one hour. Si, eh, que me puedo si apagar vengo. Ah, pues solo pase. Really? <laughs> so when you pay, you don't have to make the line. The line was for atención al cliente. Exacto, atención. So, oh God, I said, oh my God, one hour. Okay, so um, you can use, number three, it says you can use my cell phone Could you please show the screen, teacher, because... Oh, man, thank I'm sorry. Puedes usar mi celular para to blank a leave, uh, I'm sorry, to blank a voicemail. To leave. All right. Don't you forget about me. I'll be alone dancing, you know it, baby. <clears throat> Remember that song? Okay, number four it says, Don't forget blank your ATM card with you. Take. take. Yes, don't to forget take. to take. Como Luis Molina me dijo, don't forget to pay the internet. Very good. Don't forget to take your ATM card with you. Mama, I am a boy. Don't forget to take your key. Don't forget to take your license. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My neck was for cooking. Actually, this is for cooking. Microwave ovens are used for cooking food very fast. Y realmente no son para cocinar, son para calentar. 
So technically it was wrong. Okay, class, um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Have a great night. Teacher, see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.